Hey guys, today I'm going to be giving you five easy tips to become a better builder in Fortnite. If you guys do enjoy this video and you want to see a part two, please leave a like and comment below asking for any advice or tips that you want me to cover. You can also follow my Twitch stream down below in the description as I give free tips and tricks on how to build more efficiently. Before we start talking about the tips and tricks on becoming a better builder, we need to actually learn how to build first. Or you're probably saying to yourself, oh AJ, we do build, and there's such an easy concept. All here is fucking whining. And if you guys did build, then why, uh, what is this? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Learn to fucking build. Anyways, let's get right into the first tip, and that's to cover up. Many players don't utilize their walls correctly as they leave blind spots and openings in their building and allows the other opponents to shoot them and get free damage off them. As you can see in this clip, I stare above me and below me because I know the opponent already has the high ground. One thing to take away from this clip is the fact that there is always a wall between me and my opponent so I could take the least possible damage. All right, let's move on to tip number two, which is attaining high ground from someone who already has the high ground. For example, let's say someone surprises you from above. Your first instinct should be to just wall yourself off from the opponent and make sure to keep building while he sprays you down. The next step is to close the gap between you and your opponent so that you're able to take the high ground from him. Notice in this clip, as I'm surprised by an enemy above me, my first initial reaction is to build walls around me and I do it in a crazy manner so he isn't able to predict my next movements, which allows me to jump head towards him and create a better position for me to be able to take his high ground. There are many variations and techniques to building and attaining the high ground. If you want to see a video on different ways to build up, please comment below and I'll make a part two to this video explaining different ways on how to get above your opponent. In this next clip, I notice there's an enemy on top of the hill, but there's also someone next to me. My initial reaction is to first target the person next to me while remembering that there is someone above me. So I'm always keeping a close mind by covering myself from the person above. And also I'm always frequently moving, so I'm a harder target to hit. After killing the first opponent, I initially turn my attention towards the guy above me. Notice how I'm ramping up with the side of the mountain so that even if he shoots down my stairs, I'm able to continue building along the mountain. I'm always making sure that there's a ramp above me so that he's not able to get free shots on me while I'm trying to get a better position on him to be able to take his high ground. Once I'm above him, it becomes a long drawn out fight between the last three people and I end up taking home the victory with efficient building and a game winning mentality. If there is a lesson to be learned from these two clips, it is to not base up unless you're playing squads because all it does is give away your position to a good player and I'd rather hide in a bush if I'm just trying to avoid fights. And for the people who are thinking that Oh, well, Myth bases and he has about like 2,000 wins. Oh, shut the fuck up. There's a reason why I didn't win Ninja's tournament. <laughs> With all jokes aside, Myth is one of the best builders in the game. So he's able to base up and lure other players to him so that he can pick fights that way instead of having him push them. 
All right, going into tip number three, which is the skill of editing. Being able to edit correctly and knowing how to edit your walls and platforms all comes with practice and trial and error. There are numerous ways on trying to edit on top of your opponent. You just have to be creative and find new ways to outsmart and outplay the enemy. But here are some examples. In this next clip, I can see is my opponent is playing the waiting game and watching for my edit on top of him. So instead of me editing the floor above him, I make a quick position change by dropping down and editing a window on the wall next to him so I can get a clean and easy shot. As displayed in previous clips, one tactic that I like to use is when I find an enemy that is turtling, I'll usually break their ceilings or their walls and I'll place my own mat which allows me to edit on top of them and get a good pop shot in. Now the next two and final tips that I'll be talking about in this video are going to be different techniques of building that I use frequently when going against another player. The first technique that we're going to be talking about is pop shotting. There are many types of pop shots, specifically referring to the shotgun that are used, but the one that I'm talking about specifically is a technique that I learned from Nick A30, which is very highly underused and underrated. You will see me using this technique a lot in fights, which consists of me just simply jumping off my platform and after I shoot, I immediately place a platform to land on. And I continue this until my opponent is dead. I will do that move on them. Now the next and final building technique that we're going to be talking about in this video is double ramp rushing. I cannot emphasize this enough, but you need to learn this skill. It may be hard at first, but with time and practice, you'll get it down eventually. I do have turbo building on, which helps me build double ramps and walls. And that is why you see a circular movement with my mouse. You're able to use this technique in almost every situation as it guarantees you height advantage and is hard to fight against because not only is there two ramps coming at you, but it is also protected by layered walls. This is a basic building concept that most professional players use and know how to build, which makes it easy to fight against people in bases. In this clip here, you can see my brother and I joining a fight that just ended. So I know in the back of my mind that the opponents that just came from this fight may be a little weak. So I decided to use the double ramp rush tactic to ensure safe high ground on the opponents. Wait, what the heck? Got your man, dude. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It took me a two day span to gather up all these clips. So they might not be the best examples for these specific tips, but I did try my best and it was hard coming up with only five tips because there are so many aspects of building. You can't just fit it all in one video. So if you wanna see a part two, again, just please leave a like and comment below on what you wanna see in the next video as I did really enjoy making this video. So I'd be happy in making another one for you guys. And if you did learn something from this video, please share it with your friends because I'm tired of playing bots and solos and i want to see a higher skill gap to make the game more challenging thanks guys i hope you guys really did enjoy i hope to see you guys in another so i love you all and peace out